All right, today I'm talking about rental advertisements. So a rental ad can be really simple, but it's most effective when all of the information that a prospective tenant uh, is looking for. Okay, so a well-written property description and rental ad does not generate the most leads, but it does generate the most qualified leads. And this is what we're going for, this is a good thing. Would you rather show the property 15 times or three times to secure a qualified tenant? Obviously, right? So the first thing you have to do is determine your lease terms. What will be your asking rent amount, the deposit amount, and the lease terms? So a standard 12 month fixed term lease is Sagarius's default. We generally do not allow month to month leases unless the owner is planning on selling soon or some other unique situation. Um, this gives us the most control over when the lease is in, but whatever your lease terms are gonna be. Obviously setting market rent is an art all on its own and I have a whole nother article on that. I don't wanna to get too deep in the woods on that, but what your rent amount is gonna be. Now again, another thing is the asking security deposit amount is going to be a determining factor on how many inquiries you will receive. If the deposit is so high that no one can afford to move in, you may be sitting with a vacant property for much longer than you anticipated or that you prefer. So reducing the security deposit amount can help with that. Okay, number two, the best rental ads have the best photos. It does pay to pay for professional photos, ideally every time. Sometimes we're in a hurry and we need to rush the ad up and get it on the market, but we always do circle back and include professional photos uh, just because you get more clicks. As in with all online real estate marketing, photos are the first showing. The first physical showing is actually the second time the prospective tenant is looking at the property. So great photos attract great applicants. There's just no other way around it. Okay. The other thing to include on your ad is your applicant screening process. You want to include all your applicant standards and what the process is going to be clearly outlined in the advertisement. Um, further, when prospective tenants inquire about the property, I suggest that you do another pre-screen conversation, either over the phone or via email, just to ensure that the prospective tenant meets your minimum qualifications and they can agree to the basic lease uh, term requirements. Okay, the six month, 12 month, the utilities, parking, etc. Now, important note here is even if they tell you that they don't qualify and they still wanna apply, you need to let them apply. Okay, you can't say no, you can't apply, either way. Uh, this saves both of you and the prospective tenant time by disqualifying them. They have to self disqualify, okay? But, okay, next thing. Property features, understanding all of your property amenities and the best way to promote your amenities is going to help you find more qualified tenants. Okay, so common features are gonna be washer and dryer, what the pet policy is, what's the parking situation, is there a balcony or a patio, what's the flooring, when was it installed, was there fresh paint, is there an elevator, is there storage, what's the layout, you know, highlight the layout. Really anything that can be a selling point about the unit, it can be highlighted as a great feature. Open concept, all this stuff, okay? If you have a hard time coming up with property features, maybe consider improving your property a little bit so you have something to point out, okay? All new faucets, all new light fixtures. That's literally 200 bucks. I have another article on, uh, I think it's called 12 cost-effective uh, rental property upgrades, something like that. Prospective tenants love a property that's well-maintained, looks and feels good. And you can list all the renovations in your advertisement. It's super helpful. Next, area amenities. So in, in addition to your property amenities, you want to highlight the area surrounding the property. So shopping centers, commercial amenities, a list of stores, restaurants, schools that are close in proximity, um, a list to proximity to major transportation hubs, including freeways, public transportation options. And then finally, your tenants are going to need to relax and live healthy lifestyles. So you wanna list out nearby parks, gyms, and other fitness facilities. Another big one that I'm known for is my stance on allowing pets in rental properties. I think it's a good thing to do. So you can list out any pet amenities. Pet friendly ads definitely attract more inquiries every time. So if you allow dogs in your rentals, 
Be sure to include any features that make pet ownership easier, such as fence yard, dog run area, doggy doors, dog wash station, whatever it would be. Okay, so those are big ones that you can highlight. Next question, where are you gonna post this advertisement? So, Sagarius uses Buildium's rental advertising syndication service, which posts our, to our company website and then all the other rental advertisements. But for the most bang for your buck, if you're doing this on your own, is to utilize Zillow's rental advertisement service, which last time I checked, it syndicates out to Zillow, Trulia, and Hotpads, and I think apartments.com. Um, I think they might've bought some other people out, I don't know. But either way, that's gonna be the biggest bang for your buck there. Blast that thing out all over the place. Okay, if you're managing several rental properties, keeping an internal list of qualified tenants for units when their timelines are off. For example, a lot of times we'll post an advertisement for a rental that's available right now, but then someone will call in and they need to move in two months. Well, I'm not gonna hold it for two months, but rather than turn them away, we can get their basic information, add them to our prospective tenant list, and then, then circle back to them when we receive notice on any of our other units. So that's super helpful for everybody, the tenant and the owner, because we can place people with a property that matches with them quickly and reduces vacancy time for everybody. Okay, last step before posting this ad is to double check that all of your information is correct. And I've created a little checklist that you can download for free um, to use to just make sure you know, your rental advertisement is complete. Okay, so double check all the information. So in conclusion, a complete rental advertisement includes professional photos, complete property and area features and amenity lists, accurate lease terms and policies are outlined, and it includes a simple instruction on how to apply for the property. Taking the time to prepare a complete, effective rental advertisement attracts the most qualified applicants who will in turn become great long-term tenants for your rental property.